Good morning, all you wonderful human beings. It's Friday and we're on lesson 17 today. Today, we're going to have a very kind of mini lesson because it's um, a concept that I feel like you're gonna be able to pick up on pretty quickly. Um, we're going to be estimating our products, so or our quotients, I'm sorry, we're dividing. So we're gonna be estimating our quotients. So we're gonna do some together and then we're gonna go right into the problem set. So you can see I'm in my recording corner. I have my microphone ready. Hopefully it sounds great. And I'm gonna minimize myself and get to work with you. Hope you have your notes ready. So for the first kind of problem, we're gonna be like doing, they'll be asking you to estimate the quotient for 402 divided by 19. Well, 400 is close to, or 402 is close to 400, right? 19 is close to 20. So now we're working with a, a basic math fact, a basic division fact, 400s divided by two tens. Well, we know hundreds divided by tens are gonna give us tens, right? So we can kind of think about that like yesterday's lesson. So 40 divided by two, the answer would be approximately 20. So those are pretty simple. We'll do one more that's uh, kind of simple like that. When we can just round to the, um, uh, the largest place value to get the estimate. But sometimes when we're doing division, it's not that easy just to round to the nearest place value or the largest place value, I should say, because we'd have some remainders sometimes. So I'll talk to you about, actually, let's just do that example right now. So what I mean by that is 149 divided by 71. So if we rounded 149, well, that would round down to 100. 71 would be 70. And the reason why we can't just round to the largest place value when we're dividing is this. Can 70 go into 100? equally 70, 140, no. So what we wanna do when we're dividing, we wanna make sure that what we estimate to the dividend, what we estimate the dividend to is a multiple of our divisor. So we're gonna first, let's, let's round our divisor to 70. So we're talking about seven tenths. So let's count by sevens to find a number of tens that will be easy to round to for 149. So if we count by tens, I'm gonna change my color and I'll count on my board. So it's seven tens, 14 tens, 21 tens. Okay, so I think that's enough counting to be able to figure this out. And if I think about these as tens, it's 70, 140, 210. Well, which one of those three multiples of 70 is closest to 149, well, that would be 140. Well, 140, again, we, we from yesterday's lesson, we understand how to divide with those multiples of tens and hundreds and thousands. Well, it's really seven, 14 divided by seven now. And the answer would be approximately two. So, or the quotient, I should also use that word so we get familiar with it. So we're gonna do a couple together on the problem set but we're on, that's the trickiest part of today's lesson is making sure what you estimate the dividend to is a multiple of the divisor. So that's gonna be the biggest challenge of today's lesson. Um, but it's something that I think you guys are more than capable of being successful with. So, whoops, that's page two. Look at all these problems. But again, you are not solving for the exact answer today. You're solving for the estimated quotient. So the biggest thing, like I said, is to make sure that the, the dividend, the first number in our division sentence is a multiple of the divisor. So I'm gonna zoom in here and we're gonna do a couple together. Then I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and finish the rest. So let's go ahead and get our names on it. All right. So they got one done for us in the first column. So let's just, take a look at their example. And the, the directions say, estimate the quotient for the following problems. Round the divisor first. So there it is, round the divisor first so that you can 
think about what you need to round the dividend to. So let's go ahead and do that. So our divisor is the second number in our division sentence. So we're going to round that to three tens or 30. Well, we're working with nine hundreds. So, or 90 tens, right? If you think about it in the same unit, that would be 90 tens. So we're trying to get count by three to get to something that will work with nine. Okay, three, six, nine, right? So 900 would be the answer to, I shouldn't say the answer, but it's the, um, what we need to round our dividend to so that we can easily work with this. Now we can go ahead and think about what we do with the multiples of 10. And now we're really working with 90 divided by three. Well, nine divided by three is three. And then we keep that zero there and our answer is 30. So careful on this one on C, because this is where we're talking about. What do we want to round the divisor to? Well, that's closest to 40. Well, we're talking about 826. So we need to count by fours to get close to eight. Well, huh? oh yeah, 800, right? So again, we cross out those zeros because we know when we're dividing by multiples of 10, we're shifting those digits so that we know that those tens are gonna cancel each other out. So it's 80 divided by four, or eight divided by four is gonna give us two. We bring that tens over, right? Good job. So let's skip down to the bottom and do some of the um, harder, because we know that these problems escalate in challenges as in these math problems. So we're gonna do the bottom row together and then see how you do in the middle rows on your own. <laughs> Okay, so 525 divided by 25. Ooh, so remember, we're going to round the divisor first. So let's go ahead and take 25. And that's at the midpoint. So we're rounding up, right? Now, if we think about this largest place value, 5 in the hundreds place, 3, 6. Well, we're going to skip right over 6. So which one do we round to? Like if we were rounding it to the largest place value, we would round down. So if we count by three tens, three, six, nine, well, three, six, nine, five's closest to the six, right? So let's just go ahead and round that to 600. So now we're dealing with 600 divided by 30 or 60 divided by three. So that gives us six divided by three is two. And then we were talking about tens, so it's 20. So that's how you're just gonna think about um, rounding, especially when it's challenging like that. Look, that is the wrong way to round if we were looking for a multiplication or to just round the number to find an estimate. But when we were dividing, it's really nice to find, make sure that the dividend is a multiple of the divisor, so there's no remainder, so we can do it quickly in our head. So again, let's go ahead and round the divisor on N. 85 is at the midpoint, so that's gonna to go to nine. I'm gonna change color so I don't get you confused. Well, we're talking about 550. Well, let's count by nines real quick. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, and then the next one would be 54. And remember, we're talking about 910. So really it's 90, 180, 270, 360, 450, 540. The next one would be 630. Well, which one of those is closest to 552? Well, exactly, 540. So once we found the multiple of nine that will help us with this or 910. Now, if you did all that counting, you've already done the division too. Just think about that. Oops, oh my gosh, I'm sliding all over the place. Give me my toolbar, please. Great. All right, so one nine, two nines, three nines, four nines, five nines, six nines. So we know that not 54 divided by nine is six, and we know those zeros cancel each other out because 10 sign, or divided by tens is one. So we're really talking about 54 divided by nine. Great job. Ooh, 11, 667 divided by 11. So we're going to round that to 10, right? So, well, 10 
one, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it's a little easier with multiples of 10, right? So which, what should we do? 600, 700? Yeah, I would do 700 because it, 660 is closer to 700. Well, and then we think about, we'll cross out those zeros, it's 70 divided by one, so it is 70. All right, I'm gonna ask you, try the middle problems on your own, check your work. Remember, we're gonna estimate the divisor, count by that multiple and see what we can get. Remember, turn it into unit form so you're just using basic facts and then make sure that unit goes back with it. All right, I'm gonna pause, I'm gonna do the work. Hopefully uh, I don't rush this morning and make a mistake. Take your time, go for accuracy. All right, go ahead and check your work. Now I'm hoping that this lesson was fast enough um, as you're checking your work. I, I, you guys are good at pausing it, so that's why I just kept talking, so my apologies. But now that you've checked your work, corrected any mistakes, this lesson should have been fast enough that we are going to try the word problems on the back. So let's go ahead and start doing those. A video game has a store video. Oh man, I can't read this morning. Sorry, let me start over. A video game store has a budget of $825 and would like to purchase new video games. Let me move my little bubble. If each video game costs $41, estimate the total number of video games that the store can purchase with its budget. Explain your thinking. So really, we have a budget of $825 and each video game costs $41. So that's the actual expression that we need to do to solve this. Please write the actual expression down because next week, or actually not next week because it's Thanksgiving, but the week after we're going to take this and do an estimate with the actual answer. So we want to make sure that we're setting ourselves up for success for future lessons. So make sure that you write the actual expression to solve the problem, but then the question is asking us to get uh, about or estimate the total. So just like we were doing in the lesson in the first page, let's estimate that divisor first. Well, let's estimate 41 to 40, right? Now let's count by fours and see how close we can get to that eight or 82 or eight. Yeah, we're already there with eight. So let's turn 800 to 825 to 800. Now we're talking about, okay, we know how to work with those zeros. Well, it's really 80 divided by four. Oh, I should have put the approximate symbol there. 80 divided by four is really 20, approximately 20. So now it says explain your thinking. So you can't be done. Remember, we do a redraw right. So I read it. This is my drawing right here. I use numbers and symbols to draw and then explain my thinking. Well, the thinking is that the store and purchase about 20 video games. Why do you know this? We know this because Oh, the cuz got squished. We know this because 800 divided by 40 is 20. All right. You could have gotten in a more in-depth explanation. It could have been um, 825 divided by 41 is approximately 800 divided by 40. And 800 divided by 40 is 20. So the store can purchase about 20 video games. That would have been a more in-depth answer. All right, next question. Jackson estimated 637 divided by 78 is, should be estimated as 640 divided by 80. He reasoned that 64 tens divided by eight tens should be eight tens. Is Jackson reasoning correct? If so, explain why. If not, explain a correct solution. I would like you to pause and see what you think and then come back and we'll compare our thoughts. Go ahead and pause right now. All right, welcome back. So what'd you think? Well, he's saying 
64 tens, and let me actually write it in both ways, 64 tens divided by eight tens equals eight tens. Okay, well, let's, let's think about that. Well, 64 tens is 640, 80 tens is eight tens. Well, if we did that, 64 divided by eight should be eight, right? So there, one, we've corrected it and we've analyzed his work. So now we, we know the right answer and we, can, we understand why now that this was wrong, right? Well, tens divided by tens is going to cancel each other out and become one. So six, it needs, the, the real answer needs to be 640 divided by 80 equals eight. So if so, explain why. So Jackson's reasoning was incorrect. So first we gotta say he was incorrect, Jackson or her. Jackson was incorrect. And why? Well, because, and this one, we're, we can just explain what we did right here. We know that he's incorrect because, or she, sorry. Jackson was incorrect because 640 divided by 80 equals eight. So we've explained why they're wrong because we've showed our work. We've given the correct solution because we've showed our work. Um, so we are done with this problem. Great job. All right, now you're moving on to the exit ticket. Good luck. It is just like the front page. So there's no word problems on it. Remember to estimate the divisor first, look for the multiple that can be easy to work with for your dividend and go from there. All right, let me know if you have any questions.